Marcos Vegas for Fight Up TV here with Lorenz Larkin. Lorenz, we all know you're at uh, 185 now in the UFC. Had your UFC debut. Uh, it was very controversial. A lot of people, we scored it in your favor. Uh, a lot of people thought you should have won. Uh, Taken to what happened, you know, uh, how are you handling that and, and how are you staying positive and did that affect you at all, uh, being that it was your debut and now you, you have a loss officially as your debut? Um, you know, it's, it, it affects me because it is loss and um, I had everybody watching, you know, all my friends and family, so that, you know, that sucks in a way, but, um, you know, I, I try to put it past me. You know, I've been um, training still. I, did, I took like a week off and then after that I was like going back to tour days, you know, so I'm training every day now and, and just waiting to hear back the word so I can get back in. Yeah. When do you expect that, that you'd come back in and uh, seeing that too, you know, how, how do you overall see yourself now in the picture? Because you had a lot of good wins in Strike Force, and, and you coming in, you know, w with those wins, you were a prospect that people were watching to, to make big waves. Uh, in that division, though, a lot of your strike force fights were at, at 205. So, I guess where do you see yourself now? Um, you know, I, I still see myself in the mix. You know, um, I look at it like you know whoever whoever watched the fight with me and uh, Francis Carmont. To me, in my eyes, Francis Carmont is right on the breaking point to break into the top 10. You know what I mean? And for me, you know, to come in pro debut to go against him. And the fight, you know, turn out that way, you know, it, it doesn't say that I'm, you know, no slouch or anything like that. So, you know, I, I think it still puts me in the mix. I just have to go back in and, and, and show, you know, the UFC and I'm not really anybody else. You know, all my fans and, and things like that know, you know, what I'm capable of, you know, and just show them and, and just get back to the old, you know, the, the old me and, and just and get that W, you know, next time. When you mention the old you... Be specific about that. What what do you feel you weren't doing in that previous matchup? And you personally, what do you feel you, you weren't able to do in, in that matchup? And, and what do you want to get back to? I think that um, I've looked at the I've looked at the fight so many times, man. It's like um, I think the thing that I, I trying to look at it through a judge's eyes. Yeah. Maybe I, I, I played the counter role too much. And even though I wasn't taking too much, I wasn't taking any damage, it still looked like me backing up and 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 just being right there and and him trying to. T I, I don't know. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's like I don't know. Like with with the takedowns, I understand the takedowns. He kept going for him. He didn't. He only got one official one, you know. But other than that, you know, with the strikes, I made. I'm. I probably just played the counter role too much and 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 tried to counter off of whatever he threw instead of just being aggressive and, and taking the middle of the cage. Yeah. Now at uh, 185, you know, how does your body feel now? Uh, w what differences have you felt in your body from 205 now uh, at 185? Um, mm, Weigh-ins, you know, I, it, I got a little six-pack, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that's good. And um, um, not, not too much in my body. You know, uh, you, you had 205. Maybe because I was always training around that weight. Because everybody really doesn't understand, you know, when I when I cut to 205, or when I when I cut, I used to uh, a week before, you no, know, two weeks before the fight, I used to go to Carl's Jr., eat the chicken salads, up to weigh-ins. That's bad, dude. And then and then uh, they have a lot of sodium in those things. Yeah, but I mean <laughs> that's that just tells you how much I didn't like. My cut was easy, you know. I jump in the sauna at like five pounds. Six pounds, cut that off real fast, and mm -hmm. you know, um, so 205 was not a hard cut whatsoever. So, so you know, 185 is, is it, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a challenging weight. But the the big difference I feel is um, when I'm against the fence with uh, 185ers, I I'm able to, you know, sometimes power through it and, and move them where you know where I want to. You know, some of the 205ers, you know, they put you against the cage, and at, at fight time, you know, they're 220. Or, or a little bit less, you know, and when you try to move them, <laughs> they're not really going, you know, you're just like, oh, you know, so um, I've, 185, I feel at home, I feel like it's an even playing field, you know, as far as my weight and my body and all that. When can fans see you back in? And I guess, is there someone that you were eyeing, even in Strike Force, that you've been wanting to fight, or, or someone in, in this new division now that you want to go ahead and, and feel that it would be an entertaining fight and, and it would be something that would really challenge you and show you? 
questions that you might have about yourself or, or things that you haven't had answered about yourself? Um, well, you know, when I, when I was coming in the UFC, um, I really wanted to fight Lieben. Yeah. And then Derek Brunson fought him. So I, my chances were killed right there. Then I wanted to, after this fight, but he's about to fight, you know, so I just kind of gave up on that. I just want to fight, I don't know, I just want to, something that's really exciting for the fans, you know, that, that's going to, that's going to be like. Lombard, maybe? Exciting. Yeah, that'd be a cool. That'd be a cool match too. So anything that's just exciting for the fans, man. I want something like, like a, a, a Vanderlei and Stan fight, but without taking all that abuse. You know, I want to. <laughs> I'm a smart fighter. I'm not saying they're stupid, but I don't. I don't tend to take that much damage in a fight. You know, and it's probably because the way I fight. But something like that. You know, just a action fight. You know, that's to me. That's what you know. Fans come to come and pay to see and then spend all that money you know I just want to put on an exciting show and I want you know my opponent to be willing to put on an exciting show